Now, I really want this video to be as helpful as possible. So I'm going to be highlighting some of the things that I think for those of you who are interested in looking for an M2 should consider. When I got this car, it had about 47,000 miles on it. A little bit high for M2s. But thankfully enough, I was very confident in the previous owner. He seemed to be very on top of all the maintenance. And for me, that was the peace of mind I needed to go ahead and start modding it. Now, like all modern day BMWs, there are a few things that I've made sure that I went ahead and did. Oil changes, for sure, that's the number one thing. Me personally, I do my oil changes every three to 5,000 miles, and it really varies depending on how hard I drive the car. Leading into changing your oil, making sure that all your service records are up to date. That goes with checking your brakes, making sure that there's no leaks in the car, all your fluids are topped up properly and in good condition, coolant especially, and your brake fluid. Those are just regular maintenance items, and it really can carry over into any BMW you decide to get. As you guys would have seen, we did an oil change recently on the car using Liquid Molly. Next up on the list is gonna be a brake fluid flush. We're gonna be taking care of that and also changing out the brake lines to some stainless steel ones. Now, as far as practicality goes, for me, it was pretty much the right size. For most of the time, I do drive by myself and this is a daily car. And honestly, I don't really carry a lot of things in my car when I drive. Now, while the OG M2 is a really good all around car, there are a few things that I kind of wish it had from the factory. Now, believe it or not, some of the main things things I dislike about the car honestly come from the interior. Now I'm not bashing how the design of it is but I do wish that it was just a little bit more up to date especially when comparing it to some of the current Mercedes or Audi models you know they have that interior LED lighting through all of the instrument panels and clusters it really makes it look very modern. This car unfortunately didn't come with any of that it really makes me jealous not having it but luckily enough I was still able to update some of the LED lights on the footwell to kind of give it that modern touch as well as my door projector light. Now, one of the main things I wish the OG M2 did come with were the bucket seats that are in the M2 competition. These seats, while they are comfortable, don't really hug you in place that much. I find myself moving around a lot, especially during corners. So for me, having the bucket seat, that would have been a more ideal option. Now, I think one of the last negative things I wanted to talk about, which may not be an issue for some people, is that while the car is very small and easy to maneuver, one of the things I think would have been very nice, especially with having a low car, as you guys can see, there are parking sensors on the rear bumper, but if I go to the front of the car, no parking sensors. And as you guys can see, my lip is pretty much very low. So it'd be very easy for me to take this thing off. Luckily, I'm always very cautious, especially when parking the car. And typically, I always reverse into spaces, but it would have been nice to have a front parking sensor. Price-wise, the car is a really good value. Prices on these cars were anywhere from mid 30s to mid 40s. Right now, in today's market, when I did a check this morning, cars are anywhere from like mid 40s to mid 50s now the value of these cars are going up if you guys can find one in good condition for mid to low 40s i think it's a really good value to have right now i'm not going to sit here and say it's super affordable but you are getting a lot of car for what you pay for i also do want to focus a little bit more on the handling getting the car dialed in nice and properly one of the things I wanted to consider was to move away from the lowering springs and doing a full-fledged coilover setup. Now, there are a few brands that I've been considering for the coilovers, two in particular. I'm going to go into a little bit more detail when we get to that point. In the current setup, it is very nice for daily driving, street driving, but I think if we're going to be taking this car to the track, doing some more spirited driving, I think it would be best to go to a full coilover system. Now, in conclusion, I will say that I am very happy and very grateful for being able to own this car. Not many people are able to have an M2 and I'm super appreciative. Having this car as a daily driver, I would not change it for any other car right now, unless it's a Porsche. Now, with all of that being said, taking the car out, showing you what I like, showing what I dislike, I can conclude and say the car is here to stay. We have a lot more planned for it in the future. I do want to thank every one of you for joining me and Mark on this special journey. The M2 has been one of my favorite cars that I've owned over the last few years. I think it matches me, my personality, and my overall passion for cars. There are a few things that I'm going to be doing to it over the next few months that I really think you guys are going to like. One of the main things is to put more power in the engine. We are planning on tuning this very soon, as well as considering more options for fueling and even doing a turbo upgrade. And I know you guys are going to want to stick around for all of that. But before we go ahead and do that i do want to see exactly where the car is right now as far as a base so i think we're going to be going ahead and scheduling a dyno session just so i can see what the current numbers are and then when we have those numbers we can compare it to the updated
updated numbers when we get the cartoon. Now, if you did like this video, make sure you go ahead and consider subscribing. Be sure to leave your comments down below if you are considering an M2. I'd love to hear everyone's opinion. And if you did think this video was helpful, make sure to go ahead and like it as well. Don't think there's much left to say. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. See you on the next one. And until then, we're gone.